Good morning and welcome to live at 75 for this Tuesday, April 24th. Good morning, Chris Romero. Thanks for joining us again this morning. Good morning, Mitch. Good morning, everyone. Good, good. Glad to glad to have you here. And uh, I see John Price has joined us already. Uh, we've got a few other people joining on the call today. I love today's topic. It's a good one. Chris, hit us with it. Yeah, today we're going to talk some music. Uh, what you play, how you play, and when you play it is powerful. Be a god. <laughs> that was the yes. answer. secret. Oh, my goodness. I can't love this enough. I think this is so important, and I think many times we've gone off the, the – people have focused on the MC side, people focus on the DJ side. I think it's important to focus on both. That, that first is the answer for me. Uh, but yeah, what you play, when you play, how you play is important. And if a client wants to have a beat mix artist at their event, don't try to say you can do it. Right. You yeah. Know? I mean, this, this goes back to everyone that ever requested a DJ for their event. And they said, all we need is music. Yeah. And there's a huge difference between clicking play on a laptop and crossfade <laughs> right I mean, how you crossfade i i mean it's there's a smooth way and there's a not so smooth way uh good morning mike walter brian kelm jim collins kevin porter uh thanks so much for joining us michelle thanks for being here tom jamie Bodie, thanks for being here as well morning, yeah, how, it's like you said it's what you play when you play how you play so how would you define each of those yeah so you know i think um what you play could be could go from song to song. I mean, so how many of us basically have the exact same music library? I mean, when you break it down, I think all of us probably do. But, you know, I know I've got probably like 20 different, I don't know why, but 20 different remixes of Uptown Funk, right? Or right. redrums or mashups. So I think that's the what you play. Like, uh, and I think a lot of us have different... Um, uh, it, songs for different occasions right and for different moments so i think there's times when you want to play remixes redrums or you just want to play original versions or you want to play quick hits yeah yeah i love the intro edits the quick hits i you know i get a lot of my stuff from promo only uh i'm still fans of prime cuts as well uh promo only uh, sponsors uh, midwest djs live upcoming their official music sponsor from Midwest DJs Live, so we're looking forward to seeing him there. Sorry, just got yeah. a quick plug since we're in a music show. Nice plug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and see, and I'm the complete. Well, I, I don't want to say opposite. I want to say different. So I don't. I don't actually subscribe to to either of those. And all I subscribe to is Club Killers and Direct Music Service. Yes. And take all of my stuff from there. So that's where you bring in that variety, right? Yeah. And I, I just actually just described the direct music service too, just recently. So yeah. I haven't, haven't got to uh, club killers yet. Maybe I will, who knows, you know? Yeah, uh, no. And they're all good. And I bounce around. Like usually I'll, I'll, I'll take some of the subscriptions. I'll stop them for a little bit and then I'll try out a new one, you know? So yeah. I, I've, I've used so many, I've used promo only and prime cuts yeah. and all of that over time. So it's, it's what you play, which I, I think is hilarious. You know, to me, beat mixing is a tool that you can pull out. And, you know, I even had a groomsman come up to me this past weekend at the wedding I did and was just like, man, I love, are you going to do some of that again tonight? We loved it at the other wedding you did. Yeah. You know? that, and I think that's the how you play is yeah. how now, now you take, dig into your tool set, right? And what are you using to manipulate the music and to create moments and to create hype within tracks and beat matching, turntablism, doing a little bit of scratching here and there can do that if you're good at it. Um, and if you're not good at it, that will also create moments, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not good at bed, bed scratching. That's something I've not mastered yet. We went down to Jamie Bodie's uh, place and did Mixposium this February, and that was a blast. So if you get a chance to do that upcoming at Arm DJs or the next one he has down in uh, Bluffton, hit it up because it's a great opportunity to be able to work on your skill set in front of other DJs and get coaching and critique uh, right there on site. Uh, big fan of, of that experience. But yeah, how you do it. Uh, yep. You know, on Saturday, I went from, you're going to laugh. <laughs> 
This shows you what kind of audience I typically play for. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> I went from snap your fingers, little John. Yep. Okay. Into my kind of party, Jason Aldean. Hmm. And that just, well, that shows you. So this is the great thing about DJing, right? What other events can you really do that? And that's one thing I love about weddings and yeah. private events because you can just take right hand turns, you know? Yeah, I love right turns. Uh, I absolutely love that. And so when you're mashing up songs, when you're mixing up genres and you're beat matching at the same time, it's, it's awesome to create that experience for the guests. Uh, I think, and you just hit the when you play. So when you play a song, I think to me, that might even be the most important of these three is the programming of the music. You yes. know, to be able to go from Lil John to Jason Aldean, to me, that shows me that you are locked in, you're reading your crowd, and you can take a right-hand turn and go from hip-hop into country and create an aha, like, oh my God moment, right? And those are the, I think those are the moments that you want to create. Every event, I think... Uh, DJs, you got to realize we have to have peaks and valleys. You have to. Yes. The only way you can have peaks are to mm -hmm. have valleys. Now, you don't want to have troughs and you don't want to have plateaus um, or long plateaus per se. Mm -hmm. You got to have those peaks and valleys. And, and those are ways to do it. I think when you combine the what you play, the how you play, and the when you play it, that's what creates amazing moments in an event. And I, I even talk about this sometimes on the sales side and talk about the difference in our, our jocks, if you will, from a standpoint of mixing and beat mixing. And, and I just explain, have you ever, you ever been, ever heard beat mixing at an event? Sometimes they'll say yes, sometimes they'll say no. And I'll just say, you know, base, that's where the DJ goes from one song into the next song without the beat ever changing. And I make a joke about it. I said, not that we're gonna do it 20 songs in a row and make everyone pass out, <laughs> but done in the right frame of music, it works well to maintain energy. Right. Uh, and it eliminates the whole, you know, fade out, fade out. Data. Well, and I, I, yeah, I mean, when I think back to when I was younger, like I'm talking like middle school, you know, high school and the DJs that played, that's yeah, all they four years ago. Like, yeah, it was song, <laughs> song stops, dance floor empties, next song. I mean, just choppy, right? When then I started hearing like actual club d DJs and I was like, whoa. You know, though that was like it just like mind blowing to me, mixing from one song to the next. And then when I started hearing DJs using different backbeats from another song with lyrics thrown on top of it, like an acapella, I, I was just like, oh my god, to me, you know, like that DJ was a god. Yeah, and and that's where you know when you create that mix. I remember at uh, Mixposium down in Bluffton. When I heard, and I, I know it's a, it's a remix now, but I had not heard it before, right? Yeah, right. And so I heard, um, I, I heard, uh, oh my gosh, why am I blanking on his name? The guy's amazing. He's one of Jamie Bodie's guys. Uh, and why am I blanking on his name? Anyway, he went, Jamie, if you, uh, uh, my brain is fried from Midwest DJ's live prep and everything. Put his name in the comments. Uh, Henry, Henry Race, that's who it is. I heard Henry Race drop, uh the hotel despacito mix yeah yeah despacito and hotel california over the top uh -huh. of it i'm like that's ridiculous how did yeah. you just do that you know uh and i'm like man i loved it loved it loved it loved it i'm like and it was, I was just you know it's one of those things that i found out later it was just, it was a regular remix that he got you know yeah but I hadn't heard it before. So when you make that crowd have that reaction, that's the part of bringing it into be a God, you know? Right. That exactly. I mean, I, I think, and that's what we're looking to do. You, that's what you should be looking to do at your events are to create those moments where you just blow minds, you know, with, yeah. and, and you're doing it with the music. And, and that's, and I think that's the thing. So if you can be talented enough to develop both sides of the equation, if you can make your guests laugh with humor from an MC announcer side, right? If you can make them feel love and feel a part of the night for the couple during the specialty moments of first dance, father, daughter, mother, son, and then you can tear the roof off the place and mixing skills and keep that dance floor and churn it too, not just keep it, but also rotate it. Yes. From eight from age ranges. 
You're a rock star, man. You know, you know what? You are. You're a god. I think you win them over with your voice because yeah. that's usually when you when you know at the beginning of, of an event, you're out there, you're emceeing, you're doing. You know, you should be on the dance floor. You know, you got a microphone in your hand, so you win them over there. And then when you get to that open dancing later on, when because how many times have people looked at you like, wait a minute, he's the DJ as well? And right. when you start rocking a dance floor, oh my god, it's like you can you can play any song, any mix. How many of us have gotten to that point where it just it doesn't matter what you throw on, they're loving you. There's one word for that. It's called alcohol. <laughs> It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a That's requirement on my contract. The... <laughs> <laughs> your event just, must... saying, just keeping it real, real talk, yeah, hashtag you, real talk. Your <laughs> event must have an open bar. That's, that's the only one, the only way I can play. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I mean, you can do that without an open bar too. Don't get me wrong, but right. still. Absolutely. Pay, <laughs> pay lots and lots of money for, for a great time. <laughs> exactly. It was, it was plentiful of, of beverages uh, being drank at the wedding on Saturday. I did. Uh, that's that's like the DJ's best friend. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, this one did not uh, wasn't great from a layout standpoint. The bar was like halfway down the room, but it was what it is. So anyway, uh, that's it for live at seventy five for today. Chris, thank you so much. Um, this is uh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, a great topic today. A lot of comments on the topic today too. Oh, good! I can't wait to read them. I can't see them like during this the, during the live feed, and I always go back afterwards. So I, I'm excited to see what people are talking about. I'll give you a, I'll give you a secret of how to how to do that. <laughs> oh, can I do that on? Oh, do you, do you probably have your phone out? Like, yeah, I got my phone out right here. <laughs> so see, I've got my I've got my phone with my notes. Like, oh, you know, got it, got it, got it. You have to, yeah, you have to give. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a, to get this stuff going for us. I'm gonna have to get multi-screen happening over here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, just quick shout-outs. We have Midwest DJs Live 10 coming up uh, this week, and we have some amazing things happening. We have a special fundraiser uh, for Nate Ostrowski, uh, who unfortunately uh, passed away due to cancer, mm. and his young wife, his son, uh, kind of left behind, need help. Uh, so we're pooling some things. Pioneer has donated a controller. Virtual DJ has donated five licenses. Arnaldo Offerman has donated two copies of Master School Dances, as well as 50% of all sales. I have matched that offer with the ultimate follow-up solution uh, with donation of two of those copies for the raffle, as well as 50% of all sales. And in fact, we already sold one uh, for that. Uh, also, the learning does not start on Monday for Midwest DJs Live. The learning starts on Sunday. Vicki Musney has a Power of Personalities workshop kicking off at one o'clock uh, at the Pottawatomie Hotel and Casino. If you'd like to get tickets for that, you can go to vickimusney.com. You can go to midwestdjslive.com. There's links there to help you out. And I'll put a link in the chat here for you as well in regards to how to access that. So don't think the learning is just in the hallways or at a luncheon. It's available for you on Sunday. If you wanna get your learning on early, coming in early, might as well take advantage of the opportunity to uh, take Vicky's workshop as well. So uh, Chris, sorry to get those plugs in there. Thank yeah. you very much. Awesome. Greatly appreciate it. I'm looking forward to Midwest DJs Live. I got a corporate training coming up here on uh, a Friday down in Madison as well. Uh, nice. Before we kick off and roll into, uh, roll into Midwest. So I'm sorry so I watching. can't make it. I'm, I'm bummed because I've seen the lineup on there. I've seen what you guys are doing and that, uh, that that's a killer show. It's a good lineup. It's a good yeah. lineup this year. Um, and we're working on stuff for 11 already, believe it or not. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, no, I believe it. I, I, every year that, that show's getting just a little bit bigger and you're doing things different. It's a, it's a great show. Yeah, I'm excited about this year's lineup to see where it goes and see how it plays out. And we're moving forward on things for 11 as well. So great. Uh, plans yeah. to be there if you can. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to put that one in the, on the calendar. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for watching live at 75 DJ industry secrets with Chris Romero. Chris, thank you as always for getting up early, being here, being dedicated to this. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Anytime. See you later. Thanks so much for watching live. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you everyone.